Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I did these rainbow pride nails using this Gel Favor Poly Gel Nail Kit. This kit is currently available on Amazon and right now there is actually a coupon for 50% off. It currently retails for $19.99 so you'd be getting it for about $10.99. You get 8 colors in total and here I'm just swatching all of them. I noticed when working with these they were super easy to squeeze out, they weren't too stiff at all. Here are all the shades. And for today, I'm going to be using just this really standard poly gel nail brush. And starting with the pearl pink, I'm going to be laying down the nail bed color. I already prepped my nails and have my tips on, and so I'm just squeezing out some poly gel onto my nail bed, and I'm slowly patting that into place. I'm using isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution today, and so far I'm not noticing it being too sticky or anything like that. It's super soft and really easy to move around and mold, but I do notice that even though it's so soft, it still stays exactly where I put it. I'm creating a pointed French look, so I'm just making sure to mold it into a sort of pointed triangle shape, and we'll go in in a second with our filing. But so far so good, this poly gel has been really easy to work with, it's just been a breeze. Now that I have all of that done, I'm going to go ahead and file all of them, just making sure that the line is as sharp as I can get it. And now that that's done, I'm taking the red poly gel and I'm going to go ahead and start patting that into place, making sure that I'm being careful about where it goes because I don't want to be too messy with it, even though you could file it down. I just would like to avoid that whole mess, so I'm just being a little more precise with where I'm putting it. I wanted to sort of do a rainbow ombre across all of the nails, so the thumb would be red to orange, the pointer nail would be orange to yellow, middle yellow to green, then green to blue, then blue to purple. I decided to do the right side of the nails all together just so that way I wouldn't have to keep curing in between the full 60 seconds. Um, I just wanted to get each side done and then cure it all at once and then go ahead and do the left side. If that makes sense, I just thought it'd be a lot quicker and easier to do it that way. But again, so far so good. The poly gel is applying really, really nicely. Um, it's so easy to work with and I'm not having any troubles. It's not too sticky, it's not too stiff, and it's not too soft, it's not running everywhere. Um, sometimes some poly gels will do that. The colors are really nice and vibrant, super fun for summer, especially for Pride Month. This rainbow set is absolutely perfect for it. And I did notice that when doing the ombres, it was so easy to blend. Like, I really did not have to work for it. Um, the colors just really meshed super well together. And once that's done, I'm just applying a sort of clear builder gel on top of the nail. I'm doing this to somewhat encapsulate just because I did want to build the nails up, but I didn't want to use a clear poly gel. Um, this kit didn't come with a clear and I didn't want to risk getting some cloudiness from a different brand, so I just wanted to use some loose clear builder gel. I went ahead and filed and shaped and then I applied a matte top coat. Just before doing any of the nail art, I thought the matte look would be best. And here I added a small dollop of bling gel just to the cuticle so that way I could apply a single rhinestone. And once again, I'm pulling out my carving gels. If you know me at all or know this channel, have been familiar with my videos, I love carving gel. I usually use the white one for 3D flowers, but I figured today I'm going rainbow. I want to do some rainbow nails, um, so rainbow flowers. So I'm just doing some really easy and simple rainbow flowers using the carving gel. As you can see, I just scoop a little bit out with whatever tool, it doesn't matter what you use. I roll it into a small ball, press it onto where I want it, and using a silicone tool, I slowly like mold it into place, into a flower shape similar to whatever I'm going for. And because this is gel, you can cure as you go, just in case if you don't want to mess anything up, you don't want to risk it if you got it how you like it and you don't want to risk messing it up, you can cure as you go just so that way it stays in place and stays where you want it. I got these carving gels from Amazon, they're my favorites, they work so well and they make doing any 3D art way easier. I've never been that great with acrylic 3D nail art, so this has been such a game changer for me personally. Especially as more of a beginner nail artist, this is definitely beginner friendly. I would 100% recommend it. I'll have it linked down below, it's also linked into my Amazon storefront, so if you want to check out my other nail recommendations, you can go there and just see what's on my list. But as you can see, I've just gone across all the nails in the same rainbow pattern, just reversed, adding in some extra like loose petals, 
Um, I thought this came out so cute. It was way better than I thought it would be. I typically don't use the colored carving gels just because I'm usually reaching for the white one for some white flowers and white details, but I was genuinely pleasantly surprised with how well these perform considering I've had these for about a year now and sometimes products after just sitting for a long time are not really getting used they can dry up or just things can happen, but these performed really well. Um, definitely a hit if you need to do any sort of 3D work, definitely would recommend. And that's the final look. Here's how the nails came out. I love how these came out. I thought these are so cute. Perfect for Pride Month. Um, I hope everyone's having a good Pride Month. The poly gel kit performed really, really nicely. Had no issues with it. Everything cured all the way through. The poly gel was super easy to work with. I will say it doesn't come with slip solution or a brush. So those are things that you'd have to have on your own anyway. But if you already have those, you already have done your nails and you just want to add a rainbow collection to your kit, this is the perfect perfect one. I definitely recommend these, especially for the price with the 50% off coupon. It'd be like $10 a steal. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.